What's up everyone? Another quick video. I hope you're doing well. First and foremost, I wanted to send out a major thank you to everybody who has been watching my videos, commenting, who subbed the channel, and to everyone that has been sharing my videos. Special thanks go out to Daphne Reloaded and Tristan from Primal Edge Health, who sent a lot of people this way. And it seems like a lot of them subscribed. So once again, thank you, everybody. And well, let's spread the wealth. So I've been checking out this guy's channel for a while. Link to this particular video will be at the end of mine, but the name of this channel is Transition Point, and the video in question right now is entitled, quote, Eat Animals, Save Your Life, unquote. Some months ago, I had made a video talking about how I tried drinking blood for the very first time, fresh blood, straight out of the animal just about. And I described the sensation, the flavor, so on and so forth. And a lot of people had come to my channel, the awesome Googlers that you guys are, <laughs> and told me how dangerous it was to do that. And I looked this up and yeah, it seems like as it tends to be the case with all this propaganda out there, that this one article that bashes this sort of behavior has been, had been reprinted, if you will, reposted, revamped, redone by multiple media outlets online. And yeah, in it they talk about the potential dangers of drinking blood and I get it look if the animal is sick and it has some kind of blood-borne disease and you drink that blood you know you could get sick provided that this is the type of disease that crosses species and there are very few diseases such as that and if the animal has it well it's going to be apparent for the most part. So I'm not trying to say that there's zero risk when drinking another animal's blood. Raw, fresh blood, right? But shit, I mean, look at what broccoli and lettuce been doing to Americans lately, right? If anything's going to kill you, uh, well, it's probably more likely it'll be the veggies. I'm just saying. But yeah, I mean... There's always a risk, right? You step out of your house every day, you could get run over by a car, right? Welcome to life. But the way they demonize drinking blood, at least in popular media, never quite sat right with me. And I found this article very interesting because, well, it goes against the propaganda. And it's a real life story whereas people getting poisoning from drinking blood of other animals well what are those cases anyway it's about a guy who got stranded at sea and one of the ways he survived is by drinking turtle blood right because it's so nutritious and quite frankly full of life and i'm not saying you should be drinking blood i'm not advocating you do that all I'm saying is that there are two sides, at least, to every story. And looking at how meat and animal products are constantly being demonized, have been demonized for so long, I think all this scare as far as drinking blood, is, for the most part, bullshit. All right? That's all I wanted to say. Check out Transition Point. He doesn't talk about carnivory exclusively. 
but I enjoyed the channel. He's an interesting guy with a gift of gab. And he's got some good ideas. He is a carnivore also. And I really appreciated seeing this article in one of his videos because, well, the force is strong, isn't it? But it was a bit of a ray of sunshine, if you will, in the darkness, if you catch my drift. Anyway, check out his channel. Thanks for watching. And if you feel like drinking blood, as long as it's not human blood, I ain't gonna stop you. Take it easy.